Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In the, in the previous episode, we learned about how to install Angular Material. And in today's episode, we will learn how to get started with Angular Material components. Today, we are going to learn about how to install and how to use Angular Material checkbox. So that's simple. We need to follow few standard process for all the components. We are going to learn all about it in this tutorial. Before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have any questions or doubts, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. All right, let's get started. So in this tutorial, we are implementing Angular Material checkbox in our Angular application. Let's get started. All right, so I have my Angular project open here. You can use any project and you can use any Angular repo that you're working on to implement these. So first things first, let's get the application up and running by serving ng serve. And once it is fired up, we will then start implementing our checkbox. While it is building, I request you friends to kindly subscribe to my channel again to keep supporting me. All right, so here we have uh, we have our application which is compiled. So I'm going to go to any component. You can go to any component there where you want to place the checkbox. Uh, I'm doing it here. You can put it anywhere you want. So the first thing is what is the component we are trying to use, right? So we are trying to use mat checkbox. So I'll say select so you can give any name you want that here in the checkbox now when you go to application and launch it it is not showing up because there is an error so angular doesn't know what is mat checkbox we need to tell it for that you need to go to your app module in the app module we have learned how to install angular material in previous episodes so now let's import all right so now i'm going to import the required module which is mat checkbox module copy this and you need to also put it under the imports that's it that's all we need to do to make sure that our checkbox shows up correctly First, you need to create the component in the template, add that in the app module in the import, and then import it in the import section. Now let's go to our application and there we see, this is our mat checkbox, which is up and running in less than a couple of minutes. I want you to try this out and let me know if you are able to get it, if not, Drop me your questions and queries. I'll be happy to help them. In the next tutorial, or let me do one thing. Before you go, let me show you one quick technique more about checkbox. So we have used mat checkbox and we have added a simple checkbox. So in the component, I have set a variable. I'm calling it set checkbox equal to false. And that is why on page load, this checkbox is not selected. You see here, it is not selected. But what if we want it to select it? Just make it true. And using this, we will use our data binding, property binding, and we will bind the data as checked equal to value, which is set checkbox. Now, we, our checkbox should be selected by default. You see here, now it's selected by default. So that is how we can customize. We will learn more about it. But for today's lesson, all you need to do is get a component in the template, display it with correct style sheet and correct mechanism. Once it is done, we can go to the next tutorial. Drop in your comments or queries. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for joining in this tutorial. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.